Hey guys, for today's video, I'm gonna do a lot of cleaning. I have to organize my beauty room. It is extremely messy right now. And then I also want to talk about a few empties that I went through. But as you can see, it is a rainy, rainy day today. And yes, I know I don't have any grass, it's sad, but I have so many dogs and they just tear up the yard. Okay, so this is my closet situation right now. And as you can see, it's very messy. I have a lot of new makeup products that I want to put away. These are actually clean clothes <laughs> and those are dirty clothes. And these are bags of clothes that I plan to give away. But I got a lot of work to do in here and I've been dreading it for a while because there's just so much stuff I have to put away. But anyways, let's get to business. Okay, so I got this side all done. I have a load of laundry going. Got all my clothes put away. Now, I just have to work on this side. And this is my vanity side, so I just wanna put away all my makeup and kinda clear the top off, dust a little bit. And yeah. So I got the top part of my vanity all nice and cleared out and cleaned. I have to unpack my travel bag and then my stuff that I just hauled. So my stuff from Ulta and then my stuff from Sephora. Now this is the fun part, unpacking all the new stuff and putting it into my Alex drawers. So I have a lot of dirty sponges and brushes, so I just took out all the oldest stuff in this box and I'm gonna throw all of that in this box so I can clean it all later today. But I haven't washed my brushes in a little while, so I should probably do that. All right, I'm gonna set this aside to do later today. Now I gotta get unpacking. Okay, so I cleared a row for all of my new foundations that I just hauled, and I like to keep them in the front so I know to use them and try them out. So, my 
Cosas. And I keep them in the box because just in case if I don't like it, I can return it. And for ones like this that don't fit in the box, I'm just going to take it out and get rid of the box because it doesn't fit. I only got one new primer, so I'm going to put this right here. And then I have my new blush, but I'm going to keep this one right in the front so I know to try it out. So this is my concealer and like eyebrow, eyeliner, mascara drawer. And I just have a few products to put in here. For pot concealers, I just put it in this section usually. And then for my new concealers, I put those in the back and then the new ones up front. Then I only have one new bronzer from Beauty Blender. Actually, no, I have two cream bronzers. And I don't have like a good setup for products that are shaped like this. So I'm just going to leave it in here for now and I'll figure that out another day. For cream eye products, I just put them in this section. I have a couple like setting powders. So I got this mini one from One Size Beauty as a perk. So I'm just going to put this in like a smaller section. And then this is a powder foundation, but I like to keep it in with the setting powders because I'm probably going to use it as a setting powder. Just put that there, and then my Jaclyn Cosmetics Brightening Palette. I'm just going to put this up front. And then I only have one lipstick that I hauled, and I know I'm keeping this, so I'm going to toss the box. And then I'm going to put it in with my lip liner, since it's kind of shaped like a lip liner. And then for my skincare, hair care, beauty tools, nails, all that goes into this long drawer. So I put my hair care products in this drawer. And I'm almost out of my Wild Marula Tangle Spray, so got a backup. And then I like to put all my skincare in this drawer. Then in this drawer, I like to put like my beauty tools in here. So put my sponges and then that brush cleaner tool that I just got. And then at the way bottom here, this is where I put all my nail supplies. This drawer is extremely unorganized. So I finally have everything cleared out and unpacked. It's looking a lot less cluttered in here. Like I know I have a lot of stuff, but I'm definitely gonna have to do another declutter. But I'm gonna save that for another day because that is a whole nother can of worms that I'm not ready to open yet. So I have a huge bag of empties that I wanted to talk about. So the first things that I finished is from the brand Hum. I got these on Sephora and I got the Big Chill Hum Vitamins and then the Omega-3 Fish Oil Supplements. These were actually really expensive. I've tried other fish oil ones and a bit cheaper and they're the same ingredients. So if you could get your hands on something cheaper, then I would go for that over these. And then this is supposed to help you cope with like anxiety and the main ingredient in it is like silica and magnesium stearate, which is like a vegetable source. I didn't really see a difference with using it. Um, I think it's just a gimmick and I fell for it. So I probably wouldn't recommend these either. Then I have a lot of hair care products that I finished. So this is the Pravana, the Perfect Blonde Leave-In Spray. And I have purchased this so many times and I love it. It smells good. It helps detangle really well. Um, but it's like a purple tint to it. And I'm going to get rid of my balayage soon. I'm just going to dye my hair all natural, my natural black hair color. So I probably won't be buying this anymore. But if you do have like a dyed balayage or blonde in your hair, I do recommend it. Then I finished up the Not Your Mother Matcha Green Tea and Wild Apple Blossom. This is the shampoo and then the butter mask. Now, I don't know if they changed the ingredients to the butter mask, but this usually smells so good and I love it. I've purchased it so many times but this one didn't have like that yummy apple scent to it it just it was very mild so uh maybe I just got a bad one I don't know but I I did finish it still and then this is the shampoo it's a good shampoo I wouldn't say it's great but it, it's good then I finished up the AG hair care balance apple cider vinegar sulfate 
free shampoo. I did like this. It had like a weird scent to it, but I feel like it really deep cleaned my scalp. So I would repurchase this again. So I got like a set of the Brio Geo scalp revival set. And this is the charcoal coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo. And then, um, there's also the conditioner, but I still have a little bit left of the conditioner. So I'm going to finish that up, but I did finish the shampoo first. I did like the shampoo. Um, I don't really care for this kind of packaging because you just like scoop out what you need to use. I personally really like pumps, but I did like the shampoo a lot and it has like a nice minty scent to it. Uh, the conditioner though, I don't like at all. Like I felt like it left like a residue on my hair and it didn't make it feel soft whatsoever. I don't know, I'm just not a fan of the conditioner. I would buy the shampoo again, but not the conditioner. I finished up a travel size of the Kula Organic Classic Sunscreen. And this is more of like a gentle sunscreen. I always get this one because it actually works really well with my uh, skin. There are certain sunscreens that I've used like from Neutrogena and stuff and it just makes my skin, it just makes me get like a some type of rash, but this one doesn't. So I will always purchase this one and I always get the travel size because I use these when I go and travel. And plus they're just easier to store in like my purse and stuff. <laughs> I got two of them, I finished another one. So this is the Pina Colada scent, both the Kula brand. So finished both of these. I finished up this Murad AHA BHA exfoliating cleanser. I really did like this cleanser. It's super expensive though, but I probably would purchase it again. It says you can use it two to three times weekly, but I feel like I used it more often and it didn't irritate my skin, but I really did like this cleanser. I finished up this sweet spot labs gentle replenishing creamy full body cleanser and this is a fragrance free body cleanser i did like this i feel like it's just a really good body cleanser and it didn't like strip my skin or anything i finished up this dermalogica clear start breakout all over clearing toner now i use this mainly for my uh back area because i would get some back knee I did like it. It has salicylic acid in it, but I got a new one from uh, Paula's Choice that I think I like a little bit better. Then I finished up my Paula's Choice 2 BHA liquid exfoliant. I love this product. I already repurchased it. It just smooths out my skin. It's great chemical exfoliant. I finished up this Amazing Grace dry shampoo, and I've been using this for so long, but I feel like my scalp is starting to like not like it anymore so i'm switching to the batiste dry shampoo i finished up my peter thomas roth 24 karat gold luxury firm patches i love these patches and i just got the new collagen ones that they came out with so i'm really excited for that i got this little sample from drunk elephant and it's the marula oil but i love this oil so much it's just kind of expensive so i haven't gotten in a while but I finished up the little sample I got. Then I got this little sample from the brand Biolage. I don't know if I'm, I'm probably saying that so wrong. But this is the all-in-one coconut infusion multi-benefit spray. So it's like a detangler and like leave-in conditioning spray. I actually really like this and it has such a nice clean scent to it. Depending on the price of the bigger one, I might buy this. I finished up my Pure Truth activating oil from... Ula Henriksen. I don't even know if they make this anymore. This is like a pure rose hip fruit oil and I felt like using this it definitely like helped brighten up my skin because I have some hyperpigmentation but I do like this product and I have no idea if they make this anymore. I finished up my Drunk Elephant Glycolic Night Serum. I already have a backup. This is a staple in my skincare routine. Then I finished up this rose hip oil from Wishful. It's called the Get Even Rose Hip Oil. This had like a weird scent to it, but I actually really did like this oil. Like after I put it on, I felt like it just sunk into my skin so well and made my skin look really plump. I have so many other oils that I'm using though, so I probably won't get this one for a while. I finished up two of the Ultra Repair Firming Collagen Cream from First Aid Beauty. I am obsessed with this product. Like, I already have another one in my cart that I'm going to get after I finish my current moisturizers that I'm using now. This is what I use throughout my entire pregnancy because I wanted something not too potent. And First Aid Beauty has always worked for me. 
I definitely felt like after using this, I saw a difference in my skin. Like my skin just felt a lot more hydrated, which I need so bad. So I highly recommend these products. And I have one makeup product that I finished and I go through one of these so often because this is my favorite lip liner ever. It's like the perfect nude for me, but it is the LA Girl Ultimate Lip Liner and this is in the shade Nonstop Nude. You already know I have a backup of this. This is my most favorite lip liner and the only lip liner that I've ever gone through like three times already which is a lot for me because I wear makeup a lot. It takes me forever to actually go through like a lipstick or anything. So I'm so proud of myself for going through like multiple of these. So that is all of my empties. I always get so proud of myself when I finish a whole product and I finished so much the last few months. Anyways, I think I'm gonna end the vlog now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. It will help me so much and I will see you in the next vlog.